What do a tree service company in Toronto and an orthopedic surgeon in New York have in common? They apparently use the same fake review broker. Hi, I'm Kay Dean and this is Fake Review Watch. I recently produced a video showing how a review broker who goes by the name Sean Wood on Facebook was arranging fake reviews for Manhattan surgeon Dr. Mark Mormon. Well, Sean Wood has many other clients, including at least one in Canada. Here's Sean Wood's Facebook profile photo. He's a member of many Facebook groups organized for the purpose of buying, selling, and trading online reviews. I've been tracking his activities for nearly three years, and he appears to have organized a network of businesses for which he obtains fake reviews. Some of these businesses in turn provide reviews to other businesses in the network. Others apparently just receive reviews. On August 3rd, 2017, Sean Wood provided Tree Doctors this Facebook recommendation. This may have been the beginning of what appears to have become a long-term business relationship. Tree Doctors is a full-service tree company in Etobicoke, part of Toronto. According to the Better Business Bureau, Tree Doctors is owned by Yuri Sinenko. My analysis indicates that Sean Wood has been obtaining fake Facebook, Google, and Trustpilot reviews for tree doctors for roughly three years, often via trades with other businesses. I'll show you a few of the many I've documented. Redding Heating and Air is located in Roswell, New Mexico, and is owned by Mr. Daniel Navarez, according to the Better Business Bureau. Here's Navarez's Facebook page including a sample of his solicitations trolling for fake reviews. Note on the left that he is a member of Facebook review exchange groups. He connected with Sean Wood because here is Wood's Facebook recommendation of Navarez's business from April 20th, 2020. And on the same day, April 20th, who does Navarez from New Mexico give a trust pilot review to? Tree Doctors in Toronto. Next, we have Giovanni Cardenas, CEO of SurfTech Water Damage and Tech Cool Air Conditioning and Plumbing in Las Vegas, according to his Facebook profile. Cardenas is also a member of Facebook Review Exchange Groups. On March 11, 2020, Cardenas' business, Tech Cool Air Conditioning and Plumbing, received this Facebook recommendation from Sean Wood. On the same day, Cardenas gave Tree Doctors this Facebook recommendation and this Trust Pilot review using the exact same text. Our next trading partner is Florida Keys real estate agent Gary McAdams. Here we see McAdams soliciting for Facebook review exchanges in the Google Reviews Exchange U.S. Canada Facebook group. Sean Wood was happy to oblige by giving Florida Keys Real Estate this Facebook recommendation on December 3, 2020. Note that in this fake traded for review, Wood says McAdams is honest and ethical, and McAdams thanks him for the kind words. And here's McAdams' Facebook recommendation for tree doctors. As I've mentioned, Sean Wood has been trading for some three years for tree doctors. This next trade was from over two years ago, and it was with Enoch Wang, who manages Wonderland Spa in New Jersey. Here's Wang on Facebook seeking Yelp reviews. He was recruited into Woods Network, perhaps with this Facebook recommendation from October 22, 2018. One day after Woods' Facebook recommendation of Wonderland Spa, Wang gave Tree Doctors this Facebook recommendation. Note that the owner of Tree Doctors responds, thanking Enoch for his business. Business that I contend never happened. This is just one review trade by Enoch Wang involving businesses in Sean Wood's network. I can cite others. The last trade I'll show you involves Troni Neo, a nail artist at Posh Nails and Spa in Tampa, Florida. Here's a Facebook recommendation for Posh Nails and Spa from Sean Wood on June 13th, 2020. On the same day, Floridian Neo gives our Canadian Tree Service Company a Facebook recommendation in return. Neo also gave Tree Doctors this Google review using the identical text, which was responded to by the business owner. 
When confronted with the evidence that I have that they are obtaining fake reviews, business owners will sometimes claim that they knew nothing about those fake reviews. It's difficult to claim ignorance when you are responding to reviews that are fake. That fake Google review from Troni Neo is a good lead-in into a discussion of Tree Doctor's Google reviews. This is a screenshot I captured last summer of Tree Doctor's Google page. They had a 4.5 star rating based on 126 reviews. I plotted 23 of Tree Doctor's reviewers on a spreadsheet. Let's take a look. This spreadsheet shows 23 Google reviewers of Tree Doctors across the top and other businesses they've reviewed down the left side. First, let me draw your attention to Dr. Mark Mormon, the orthopedic surgeon. Notice that eight people on this spreadsheet are both his patients and customers of Tree Doctors in Toronto. This is a remarkable coincidence. In this video and in a previous one, I've already shown Sean Wood's work on behalf of both Tree Doctors and Dr. Mormon. So this spreadsheet would suggest a Sean Wood connection here as well. Furthermore, I have additional information suggesting a link between Sean Wood and reviews for some of these other businesses. Overall, the number of businesses reviewed in common by these Google profiles is striking. For example, 21 of these 23 reviewers of a Toronto tree service company also supposedly use the same locksmith company in Texas. 18 of them use the same Las Vegas moving company. 13 even use the same hotel chain in New Zealand. If you are to believe these Google reviewers, six of them, Nancy, Ivan, Morgan, Catherine, Jessica, and George, all used the same tree service company in Toronto, the same locksmith company in Texas, and the same dog walker in New York, ate at the same Thai restaurant in Florida, and rented the same mountain cabin in Georgia. None of this is believable. So it would appear that tree doctors and indeed all of these businesses are obtaining fake Google reviews. Furthermore, my opinion is that the reviewers on this spreadsheet are not real people at all. Just online profiles created by a review broker, likely Sean Wood. You can see how review brokers such as Sean Wood are polluting online review sites with fake reviews for both U.S. and Canadian businesses. Neither American nor Canadian consumers should trust online review sites. Stay tuned for my next video on Canadian review fraud.